Hello, welcome to WebsterOrthopedics.com. My name is Joshua Richards. I'm a hand, elbow, and shoulder surgeon. I'm here to talk to you today about post-operative management for a shoulder arthroscopy. After surgery, you're going to have a big, bulky bandage. You will also be in a sling. Most soldier, shoulder surgeries, the anesthesiologist will perform a regional block. A regional block is where the doctor had given you an injection which made your shoulder and arm numb so that you do not experience post-operative pain for 24 hours. Some of these blocks work better than others. Some will last more than 24 hours and that's okay. Some will last less. Some will work partially where you'll have some pain but not a lot. Um, nonetheless, you should have some pretty good pain management for 24 hours where you don't need much pain medication. Once you feel that block starting to wear off, usually the next morning, that is a good time to take two pain pills. The pain can be quite significant. And it's best to just be on top of your pain, taking two pain pills as soon as you start feeling that wearing off. If you do not have any problems with anti-inflammatories, meaning you do not have ulcers or prior history of problems with anti-inflammatories, it is okay to take ibuprofen with the pain pills. Uh, one common combination is something called hydrocodone. You could take two hydrocodones every four hours, as well as 600 milligrams of ibuprofen every six hours. Those two things together work quite well. The other important part of pain management is ice. Some people will go home with an ice machine, others will not. And my favorite type of ice is frozen bags of peas. You'd want to buy two large bags of frozen bags of peas. You put one on for 20-30 minutes, take a break, put that one back in the freezer, 30 minutes later take the other bag and just keep rotating. 20-30 minutes on, 20-30 minutes off. You want to be careful that the bag is not touching your skin. Typically there's so much tape that you couldn't get it near your skin or your shoulder. But again, the reasoning is that for the first 24 hours, you may not feel much due to that block. You don't want that very cold right on your skin. It could burn it. So ice, aggressively ice for the first two to three days. The reason there's so much pain is because of swelling and the ice helps the most. After three days, you can remove the dressing, all of it, all the bulky dressing. You can take a shower. Usually the pain is significantly less after the first three days because the swelling has gone down. So usually the third night, post-operative night, is much better. You take the dressing off, the pain's much less, take a shower, you'll feel significantly better. You pad the cuts dry and you put band-aids over the small incisions. Sometimes people will have another incision in the front where you'll notice white strips that are very stuck to the skin. Just leave those strips in place, do not take them off. Uh, and you don't have to put band-aids over those. They are much more protective than band-aids. So the band-aids are for the small cuts, the black stitches in them, usually two or three. Over the white strips, you don't have to place anything over them. After that, you can go back into your sling and you don't have to do anything with the dressings after that. As far as the shoulder motion concerned, in the first post-operative period, we really don't want you doing a whole lot of shoulder motion. One simple exercise is to do what's called the itsy bitsy spider, or a wall crawl, which is where you take your fingers against the wall, stand close to it, and then gently use your fingers to help raise it. You can also use your elbow to help support it. You can go as high as you want typically, unless I tell you otherwise. You can go all the way up if you can make it. But generally getting to about 90 degrees is reasonable. That helps ward off stiff stiffness. You do not need to do really anything else with shoulder motion. However, with your elbow and fingers, we do want you moving those. So at least twice a day you get out of the sling and let your elbow rest at your side perfectly straight and just bend your elbow a couple times to make sure it's getting straight. As far as your fingers go, sometimes they can get quite swollen. The swelling can go all the way down into the fingers. Sometimes that happens the first couple days, 
Sometimes it could even take a couple of weeks before this fingers get swollen because it slowly tracks down the arm. So in the post-operative period, we want you making a full fist, not squeezing a ball, which would prevent motion, but making a full fist so that your fingers get into your palm, so that your fingers are not getting stiff. So in review for motion, gentle wall crawls, you can use your other hand to support it. Getting to about 90 degrees is great. If you can go further, fantastic. No other real shoulder motion. As far as the elbow goes, getting it totally straight a couple times a day, and the fingers every hour or two, just make sure your fingers are moving okay. In review of the dressing, keep it clean and dry for three days. Remove, okay to shower, band-aids over the small holes with black stitches, just leave the white strips alone. If you have any other questions or problems, feel free to give us a call. The typical post-operative appointment is around 10 to 12 days to remove those stitches. Thank you.